Hi guys, I was sent a review copy from Second Sight uh, of the movie Extra, which came out in 1982 and it was directed by Harry Davenport. It is a 36 year old movie. I didn't love the movie, but I would say that if I watched it back in the 80s when I watched most of my 80s horror movies, I probably would have loved it. Throughout the movie, it shows how good the practical effects were back in the 80s and it came out around about the same time as The Thing. The Thing is obviously the best in practical effects for that time. But I would say that for the budget Extra was on, I would say it done a perfect job, but I think that they spent most of their time and budget on the practical effects rather than the movie itself. The movie was okay for an 80s horror sci-fi, but nothing to shout about, but the practical effects were great in it. Um, but in terms of the Second Sight release, because this is what I'm really reviewing today, it's packed with extras. Uh, I didn't know this, but the, the lead actor Sam, played by Philip Sayer, sadly passed away uh, by cancer in 1989 and they do mention that in the in the making of in this quite a few times and Brian May from Queen even wrote a song dedicated to this guy who he never met and that's part of the song as well and the song is played during one of the the sequences of the the special features now the special features does have about four or five different um documentaries on it but it, most of it is all really one that's split into a few uh, one of the documentaries is an older documentary, um, but it's still good to watch, but the, the new footage is good because it shows you the director, um, one, a couple of the stars from the movies in it as well uh, today, so it's good to see them today and they sh let them share their experiences uh, with Extra. Now interestingly, there's four versions of this movie that's not completely different. There's a director's cut, which uh, the director um, played around with in 2018 this year so that's a special one for this year uh, there's also an alternate cut the original cut and then the UK uh, VHS cut as well so there's four ways to watch this movie uh, but the the version overall the, the original version that's been remastered to this blurry is perfect the quality the audio quality is really good and the video quality is excellent I would say though that the audio this is probably nothing to do with the blurry quality but the audio um, the syncing and the dubbing for the audio put me off in certain scenes. Um, again, it's nothing to do with the Blu-ray, it's just the, the way it was recorded and the way it was filmed back in the 80s. That uh, standard UK-British audio recording, it didn't go very well, it didn't flow very well throughout the movie, especially the external scenes. The internal scenes were great, uh, the scenes around the cabin, the, the cottage was good and the apartment was good. It's only when they'd done the external scenes that it was really off-putting and again they had to do that kind of... I don't really know how they'd done it back in the 80s but the external audio obviously there's a lot of noise out there so they had to dub it in a way that it sounded more clear and it was off-putting in the movie and I'm guessing it's off-putting in the DVD and off-putting in the VHS as well so nothing to do with the Blu-ray just that the external audio was was off-putting. Now unfortunately I can't really judge or look at the the quality of the packaging. They only send you in this packaging here with a little leaflet to tell you what the movie's about. Um, but I have seen images of the, the packaging. The packaging looks really good. It's a digipack. Don't see a lot of digipacks these days, uh, but the digipack looks good and it looks fitting to the movie itself. I probably will buy this because even though I don't love the movie, it's a good movie to have in the collection and from, from the looks of things, it looks quite top quality from Second Sight. Second Sight are bringing out a lot of good horror movies recently. Um, the Changeling is coming out soon as well, that looks like a good packaging. And it looks like Second Sight are trying to rival the likes of 88 Films and Arrow Video in the UK. At the moment they're not quite there obviously because they're just coming out with all these good horror movies. But if they latch onto these movies like Extra, uh, get the titles that they need for the fans to come in, then I think that the purchases will come. With the, with the titles alone, and then they can start to add on all the special features and the packaging. But so far, Extra has a lot of special features on it. I'll leave a link uh, in the description down below with all the special features, the runtime, etc. Um, but yeah, overall, I think the, the movie itself is okay, but the special features are a lot for, for a movie of this size. You know, the, the movie you wouldn't imagine uh, to have all the cast members, not all of them, but some of the cast mes members to come back and talk about it. It doesn't seem like the sort of movie that people would be interested in 36 years later, but you would be surprised in the special features as well. There's an extra expert, um, 
he knows a lot about the movie itself. He's not a, a, an official expert, he just knows and loves Extro and he probably loves it more than anybody in the world and that's why he's also in the special features. That, I would say that was pretty cool. If you're a fan of a movie for so much and the, um, the cast actually asked you to come on and talk about it on, on the special features blog, that's brilliant. If somebody asked me to come on and speak about the Monster Squad, then I'd be over the moon. Anyway guys, if you haven't seen Extro, I would recommend picking it up. It came out last week in the UK. I think it came out in the US a little while ago but the UK finally got it for the first time on Blu-ray. Anyway guys thanks a lot for watching thanks for subscribing I'll see you soon bye bye